Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and it's actually almost a week later. I have just been kind of sick-ish this past like two weeks and I've had this really annoying cough that I didn't want to like try to film around and so I think I'm pretty much not coughing too much anymore so we are filming the whole video I'm very excited um so in this video I'm also going to be including um some items that were in uh the thrifting vlog from I believe it was Saturday so I'm going to have that video linked right there as well if you guys want to check that out but I got some pretty good stuff that I cannot wait to share with all of you. So I hope you guys are excited. Um, okay. So, first thing I have here. This is the stuff that I got from The Goodwill. And I didn't get really too many things. Uh, upon walking out, I noticed, like, on the toy, there was, like, a giant, um, toy thing display by the front exit entrance area. And they had this deer, a dog deer, Dr. Ian Malcolm pop figurine and I thought this was really really funny John actually does collect these and we love Jurassic Park but I actually looked this one up to see how much it retails for and this one's actually a pretty rare like addition I guess um, I think it retails for around like 60 something dollars online um, though I don't think I'm gonna be selling it I think I'm just gonna give it to John I just think it's really funny like <laughs> it's, it's just funny so love Jurassic Park Love pop figurines, so this is one of the first, or this is actually the last thing I bought because I bought it. I literally paid already, was walking out, saw this, went back and stood in line again actually to pay for this. And it was $4.99. Okay, next item. Okay, this is... <coughs> oh, there's that cough. Pesky, I'm so sorry. Um, but I bought some of these. These are like really nice padded um, envelopes and I always need envelopes. I have been thrifting envelopes and I've been going through them and this is the first set of padded ones that I have found which I think is kind of nice. So I picked them up. It was $1.99 for two, four, six, for eight of them which I think is a pretty fair price because I feel like if you buy one of these at the store it'd probably be around $1.99 for just one or two. So yeah. Why not? Um, that's like, I guess that's the Goodwills where I buy all my envelopes. <laughs> uh, next thing I have here. Oh, this is pretty cool. I got this for the kids. I hope they don't fight over it. But it's a pretty, a pretty cool Crayola stylus for the iPad, which I think is a really, really fun. I think all three of them would have fun with this. Um, Eliza's really into like coloring and drawing and doing those kinds of games on his iPad right now. And I think this would be really fun and it would be like very enriching to like have him practice holding a pencil and pen and not have him using it on the walls, tables, or floors. Um, so I thought this was a fun little thing to get. It was $3.99. So it was a pretty good price. I think these are pretty expensive when you buy them. And this is one of those, um, I think one, these are the ones that actually connect like through Bluetooth to the iPad so it has a bunch of different features and I think it has like an app that you can use the Crayola app so I thought this was pretty cool and I think that the kids are gonna have a fun time trying it out the next thing that I got I love these so much and it's like I have so many of them already at this point but I'm obsessed with chapstick my lips are literally always dry and they're feeling kind of dry right now just thinking about it but I got this Captain America Marvel Lip Smacker. I've never seen, I don't know if I'm just like, I, it's probably because I, I don't really frequent Target or Walmart as much as I used to anymore. Uh, and yeah, so they have Lip Smacker Marvel Edition. Uh, pretty fun. Captain America, great. So I was pretty excited to find this. He was $2.99. And I think these are about $5 when you buy them at the store. Um, but yeah, so I just had to get them. I thought it was really cool. And he has like two faces, which I think is pretty cool. And yeah, so I'm gonna actually open him up. I actually really wanted to know what flavor. It just says best flavor forever. Um, lip balm inside. Oh, is this the smell? I don't know. Oh, eggnog? That's the flavor. I didn't even notice. Eggnog. And there's like a picture right there. I was like, I thought it was like that, like, um, Racha, or is that what you call it? Like, that, like, rice milk drink? 
or something, but I'm actually pretty interested in... Has anyone ever tried this flavor before? I feel like that's like a weird... Um... Kind of... Flavor for this. And... I can't even open it. I'm not gonna try it anymore. <laughs> it's gonna take me eight years to try to open that thing. Okay, um, next thing I have here... I got two of these, and I was actually pretty interested in trying these out. I love dry shampoos, uh, and these are the small ones from Bedhead. They were $1.99 each, which I think is great, because I think Bedhead is pretty expensive. So, oh man, I got like Sharpie on my fingers from this. Where did it come from? Oh, anyway. It's called the Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo, so I'm pretty excited to try this out. Right now, my favorite is the Batiste, and I haven't seen them at the thrift store in a bit, and I'm almost out of them, because I also give them to my sister. Uh, so, I thought, why not give these a try? Um, I have used Bedhead products in the past, and they have been pretty fantastic, so I'm pretty excited about that dry shampoo. Let me know if any of you guys have ever... This, like, long piece of hair is really annoying me. Because it's, like, going all the way back there. Ugh. I really need a haircut. Oh! And if you guys are watching this, um, I'm gonna put this video up tomorrow. It is my birthday. So I wanted to do something special for you guys today. Um, so, today, if you guys are watching this, uh, I also put it up on my Instagram. So if you guys, um, go to my shop. It's Hadrian.com. I'm going to have it linked down below. Um, comment on an item that you want or DM me and with the name of the, or with, which, which, with the name of the item or whatever and say, happy birthday. I really want to get this. I'm going to give you guys 20% off, which I think is the most I've ever um, done in the shop. So 20% off um, March 1st, like at the end of the day, that's it. So I'm going to put this video up really early in the morning at around 4 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, no, Pacific Standard Time at 4 a.m. So that should be 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So, um, yeah. So if anyone is interested, go check out the shop. Um, the next thing I got here is this 100% Pure Essential Lavender Oil. These are usually so expensive. I buy them. Um, this, this is my favorite scent because it's only one of the, it's like one of the essential oils that I'm not allergic to. Um... I'm allergic to like the mint one, the eucalyptus one, like it's really sad, but it gives me like, it makes my throat itchy and it makes my eyes itchy whenever like I have them in the diffusers and I love the scent of them, but like it's just, it doesn't work out for me. Uh, but lavender, I'm A-OK -okay with and it smells, it's actually my favorite scent anyway, so it's fantastic. I wanted to try this out. I know that they had like different grades of essential oils. Um, I've bought essential oils before in the past that are not the best. And then I finally found one that I really, really like on Amazon, which like three drops of that, of that oil equates to like 12 drops of the other ones that I've tried. So it's very potent. Um, I don't know how much this, like I don't know how strong this is going to be, but at 99 cents, I'm willing to give it a try. Um, so yeah. Excited. And it's Spa Room, which is like the brand of the oil diffusers, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So that's the, I think that's pretty much it from what I got at the Goodwill on that day. So let me show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got. Um, so these I got, I picked up during the week. Um, the first thing I have here, I did end up getting this Dooney & Burke little white satchel bag. I think this is so cute. It's made of the, like, really nice. Um, it feels like the all-weather leather almost, and I'm not sure if it is, but it's very, very beautiful. And the inside is not in bad shape, and this guy was $14.99, so I was excited to find this. Normally at the thrift store that I found this at, they price Dooney and Burks a little aggressively, so I was very excited to find this at a more reasonable price. It just needs a little bit of cleaning and conditioning, I think it's going to be fantastic so excited for that that one's definitely gonna be up in the shop i'm gonna work really hard to get these items up there um the next thing i have here okay this one is really really cool it's a large uh furla croc embossed satchel in a dark forest green with silver hardware this bag is literally like new it comes with a dust bag um it looks like it's never been used or worn it's in fantastic condition it's just a great size I really like it, and I love that it has, like, this cool zipper detail on the side. 
so that it does open up very nicely. Um, inside here I also got this coach pouch, which I was able to get for $5.99. It's just a nice all leather um, pouch in a, what color would you say this is? Like a turquoise green blue color. And then I also did pick up an M Anthropology mug. I couldn't help it. Um, as you guys know, I do collect the Anthropology letter mugs. And I have a couple sets from them that I'm trying to collect. There's actually two kinds. This is the floral one that's with the smaller mugs. And then the white, wh the white colored mugs with the black and or gold writing on them. So, an M. But yeah, you guys, like has the dust bag and everything inside here and this guy was $19.99 still has the little furla dongle on there as well and this is pretty nice it's a little bit tight when you carry it on your shoulder but I think it definitely is more of a bag that you carry like in the crook of your arm or in your hand but it's just so beautiful makes a beautiful statement and the leather is amazing on this and this is made in Italy Beautiful. Furla. Gotta love it. Love Furla bags. So, so much. Alright, what else do we have here? Um, this one... I was really excited to find this. Uh, this one I got from... During the week at a... Vet, at the Veterans Thrift, which is also an eco-thrift. I think... It is an eco-thrift, but I think it's just called Veterans Thrift. But their stickers say eco-thrift. So, it's an eco-thrift, I guess. Um... But this is an All Saints black leather satchel in beautiful condition. It's really great. I love the look of it. Um, I love that it has a top handle and then you can carry it crossbody as well. And the handles just kind of drop down really nicely. And uh, the interior is just like that. There's one a zipper pocket. Looks like it has a couple makeup stains. And we're just going to try and clean that up as best we can. And... There we go. Beautiful black leather All Saints satchel. God, I love All Saints stuff. They make they make really great handbags. I actually really really like their shirts. So whenever I find like a th like a shirt like an All Saints shirt that fits me at the thrift store, I get really really excited. I have a couple, and I've also picked up a couple for John. Awesome. Okay. Uh, up next. Ooh. Okay. So this one um, I got during the weekend, and this is a Michael Kors. Shoulder bag in this beautiful bright yellow and then a golden brown. So pretty, you guys. I love, like, the braided detail on the handles and it goes across the front and the back as well. It has gold hardware. It's literally in like new condition. And I got this guy for $42. Beautiful. Really, really like this bag. Okay. Stunning. Up next, oh, I really, really like this one, too. I really like all the bags that I buy. Like, usually if I don't like the bag, I'm not going to buy it. Um, so, this one is a beautiful Rebecca Minkoff um, flat bag. And it has, like, gold studs, and then it has, like, diamonds on it. I think it's really, really pretty. It has a turn lock right here. I do have it stuffed with some paper at the moment, because I did... I was just photographing this, or it has some plastic in it. Um, this guy was $28 and it's beautiful. I love these bags so so much. I love that you can double up the straps like this so it becomes like a nice shoulder bag or you can like you can elongate the straps and then it'll be a crossbody. You can remove them all together, use it kind of like a clutch or you can just remove it and then attach a different strap to it if you do want. Uh yeah, just a beautiful flat bag. This also is a great pocket in the back. You can stick your cell phone in there really easily and you're good to go. Beautiful. Love that. Okay, up next. Oh, I love this is another really cool bag that I found. Um, it's a beautiful Dooney and Burke satchel. It's very Birkin-esque to me. I really, really like it. It has this beautiful black leather. It has a contrasting cream striping or uh, stitching. It has a silver hardware. It has a little dongle right there. And I love the interior. Look at that lining. It's so, so pretty. Gorgeous. Love it. And it has, like, you can tell it's vintage because it has, like, the vintage cell phone pocket. <laughs> It's like it fits like one of those um 
Nokia's, those little ones. <gasps> I always wanted one of those, and mom had one, and I would always play Snake on it. It was like my favorite thing, and I thought it was so cool. And yeah, so this beautiful Dooney and Burke satchel. Gorgeous. Love it. Okay, up next, we have this, um, this beautiful Michael Kors. This is like a, like a light tan taupe color with silver hardware. Really, really, really pretty. I love the color combination on this. I think it's very modern. It's very now. I love the feel of the leather. Um, so gorgeous. You guys know... If you watch my videos, the Michael Kors Hamilton is one of my favorites. It's the Michael Kors Hamilton and the Selma are my favorite from his um, collection. And this one was $55, but it was half off. So I got a pretty great deal on it. I set that down there. And then last but not least, okay, this one was a pretty exciting find, if I do say so myself. Um, this is a... I've been looking for, like, a Ralph Lauren Made in Italy bag for so, so long. They're few and far between. It's usually, like, Lauren by Ralph Lauren or, like, Polo Ralph Lauren or whatever. Um, but this one is Ralph Lauren Made in Italy. I believe it's called The Ricky. And it is in a beautiful, like, white, creamy white color. It's so pretty. I believe these do have, like, a shorter strap, like a top handle. This one is... Um, I'm missing that, but other than that, the bag is in pretty fantastic condition. It has very minimal signs of wear. Um, it's it's just a great, great bag. And then you open it like this. The interior is lined in like just a gorgeous black leather. It has one interior pocket with a snap button closure, and that is pretty much it. So that is the Ralph Lauren Ricky. Uh, drawstring bucket bag. Beautiful. And that is going to round out today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store and all of the finds. Again, I'm going to have all the other, uh, like the thrifting for the other stuff um, linked right there if you guys want to check that out. And I love you guys so much. Again, I get you 20% off the entire shop. Um, just go to itshadrian.com. I'm also going to have another video up later on today. It's going to be kind of like, um, it's going to be a vlog, I believe, at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye! <laughs>